All right. I've got a shot here from uh, me. And I just wanted to talk about going to spline. So I've got my block in here, as you can see, it is stepped. I just want to go through the process of how I would take some of this to spline. So first thing I do is go through and clean up this main control. Lovely. Cool. So my animation is now perfect on the main control translation. And now I want to clean up the rotation. But we have an issue here. The issue is it's messing up my posing. If I don't want to go back and forth to the hip control, which I don't, and I also like to pose using my main control because, well, it's a lot quicker if I'm using this and then having to rotate and move my chest where I want it, then it's a lot longer than just going like that. So I want to keep my animation on my main control. I can transfer this animation onto the main control. We can talk about that in a, another video. Basically, what I want to do from here is I want to lock down this chest so that I can freely animate my main control doing what I want. Take your chest control and put it into world space. So I haven't got a world space switch on this rig, the lovely Nessa rig. So I'm just going to use Animbot. Camera space is probably better. So I'm just going to put it into camera space. And now we can freely animate this. And that top control doesn't go anywhere. I want to do a pass now on the rotation of the hips. That's pretty much perfect. Now, we didn't do the conversion to world space before because, as you can see, if we do this from the start, things very quickly get disconnected. So it's kind of a trade off between being too disconnected and having to redo loads of work. Just be aware that by putting the chest in world space and animating it that way, you can very quickly make things feel disconnected. But you can also equally loosen things up quite a lot. I like to, at this point, then clean up the chest on its own. And if you want, afterwards you can go back, but I tend to leave it in world space from here. The big advantage of this as well, having the chest in world space, is that what is in the graph editor is pretty much exactly matching up. So translate Y up makes her go up in the viewport. What we had was a bit of a mess, doesn't really make any sense. And to be honest, when we rotate this, it's going to break what this was doing anyway. Just a side note on this mid spine control, most of the information on this is going to come from the rotation of these. So you really don't need to worry too much about it. I tend to leave it fairly neutral and try to get the shape with these controls before adjusting it. Its importance is very low compared to these. I really think of the mid spine control as a very last stage polish. So yeah, that's how I like to approach splining that, at least the mid part of the body. The rest of it I also have ideas on, but that will be for a later video. So let me know what you think. If you have any ideas on this, if you have a better way of doing this maybe, or you just hate the idea, then let me know down below as well. That's fine. I'm waffling a bit now and wanted to keep this very short. So I'm going to end it there. Uh, goodbye.